This Congress has championed the unwinding of campaign finance laws to give billionaires outside influence over our politics. Systematically attacked voting rights, cast dozens of votes to take away health insurance from ordinary Americans. Embraced wild conspiracy theories like those surrounding Benghazi. You heard it. Benghazi, a wild conspiracy. In a blistering speech, former President Obama blasting the GOP over the Benghazi probe while he was in office, calling it a conspiracy theory. And now our next guest, a hero from that 2012 terror attack, which happened on 9-11, is firing back. Former U.S. Army Ranger Chris Tonto Peranto was a CIA security contractor guarding the Benghazi annex. He joins us now. Chris, thanks for being here. You hear those words, your Thank reaction. You. Yeah, you know, your guys' assessment yeah, this morning hit it right on the head. I, it's a, he's a true narcissist, just an elitist that I honestly believe he thinks that didn't happen. He did nothing wrong that night. He sent no support that Benghazi was just made up. And, and you know, we, we, we lost two of our friends, and, and it was it was a fantasy. Uh, it, it's, it's disgusting, and it just raises the bile inside of me. I, I had a hard time. Just watching the speech itself, I just wanted to see what he had to say. And when that came across, you know, I just want to reach through the screen and, and, and just grab him, grab him and choke him and say, are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me that you'd have the gall to disgrace the memory of my teammates and what we did there that night by calling it conspiracy? But that's a narcissist for you. Yeah, you well, know, what else can you do? Obviously, you're channeling a great deal of frustration uh, toward the former yeah. president. You lived it. I uh, read the book and watched the movie, not the same thing, but it was, it was a before, sure. during, and after scandal. It wasn't just what happened, the lack of support to you guys. Sure. It was blaming it on a video, which they've since perpetuated. Yeah, and, and then throwing this gentleman that made the video in prison, essentially destroying his life, uh, which he did, which Obama did. So uh, he, and he just continues to double down and compound it. And the thing is, though, is his base honestly believes that. I, I know there are people out there still today, and I can't stand social media, but I'm on Twitter, but still call Benghazi conspiracy as well. Say it didn't happen. Say we were making it up. Um, he, he caters to the easily manipulative, uh, easily manipulated. And, and uh, it's just I, I can't just sit by and, and not do anything about it, not say something strongly against it, because he's it, honestly the, the man is the man is a disgrace, just a complete disgrace. And it's not just Benghazi, but he's the revisionist history that the world was better under his administration. Yeah. I mean, you remember calling <laughs> ISIS the JV team and their comeback. Yeah. It took Donald Trump to actually decimate them. You know, and even before people forget, even before Benghazi happened, when the election was coming up, Al Qaeda was on the run. Uh, he kept perpetuating that, saying that terrorism was on the run. Al Qaeda was not on the run. Al Qaeda actually took part in the attack on us that night. Um, so again, it, trying to rewrite history, but that's the left's. That's what they do. They, if it doesn't fit their narrative, if the history doesn't fit what they want to, what their agenda is, they're going to try to rewrite it. And where did he do, come out with this talk? It was at a university with college-age kids. And I remember when I was in college, I was hey, I was easily manipulated in college. He's going to portray it out there, especially in Chicago. But uh, it, it's just again, it's it's completely offensive and. and and it's something that I, I wish I had that man sitting in front of me right now. I really do, uh, without a Secret Service. Well, be we'll, 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 be, we'll be careful with that because he is a former president. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know, I know, but, but still, I you, it doesn't get you get yourself away from 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 saying comments that like, I understand your, I understand your sentiment. We're six years from this attack. A lot of people. Um, you know, it's just, just like we're 18 years from 9-11. You were going to have to remind the next generation. Do you think uh, yes, the sir. legacy of what happened there, there w will be remembered? Or, or is this something that will turn into a talking point for the left? You know, I, I do believe it will still remain a talking point for the left, the far left. I, I do think there are still good Democrats out there. You've got Democrats and then you have liberalists. You do. There's a difference. Um, uh, but uh, I think uh, as far as the conservatives go, as far as veterans go, as far as uh, the military is concerned, it's going to stay as a, as a, uh, a beacon in history as, as courage or courageous uh, as a courageous event, because Tyrone and Bub were courageous warriors that night who gave their lives to save over two dozen. So yeah. uh, I think it's just going to be who you talk to and who's going to be in office, too. Peter. You know, that's, yeah. that's, no, how, right. that's how we are. with. This well, country. we remember those men and what they did for this country, that yes, that sir. sacrifice uh, and the heroism. Uh, there in Benghazi. Thank you for your service to this country, Chris. Appreciate your time. We'll remember you this week.